years ago and said, I have a budget and I have a plan. He said, I have a dream. And that's where all of this comes from. It comes from a dream. Now, it's my pleasure and my honor to introduce to you a man with a very concise dream, a dream that helped make all of this possible, Mr. Harish Kotecher. And also, joining Mr. Kotecha is going to be Mr. Mubarak Duka. Yeah. There you go. All right, gentlemen. Here, yes. Uh, hi, welcome everyone. Is this working? Oh yeah, it's working, right? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome everyone. It's so uh, I'm really, really excited about this event uh, that uh, you know uh, where we get all uh, South Asian and other communities together so that we can uh, help with the education of uh, students in the in Austin area who are you know who live below poverty line. Uh, and you know we all sort of think that yeah, U.S. is so rich, but you know when you look at the statistics, over 48 million people live below poverty line. And uh, so the, the whole idea here was that as uh, immigrants or the second generation immigrants, uh, especially from South Asia, you know, we thought it would be good, what I thought was in 2010, that it would be good if we give back. So I founded this charity, Hindu Charities for America. And uh, since then, of course, you know, it has grown. Uh, we do school supplies for homeless children, in uh, with Manor, Austin, Del Valley, and other 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 ISDs. Uh, this project we do with the Jewish community, and we had, uh, this year we donated for like over thousand kids, and that's really awesome. So to date, you know, together with the Jewish community, we probably I think the food supplies might be over fifty, sixty thousand dollars. Two years ago, my whole aim for this charity was to basically how do we give education in a manner that people can have a career quickly. So two years ago we started uh, the scholarship program. So it's basically vocational scholarships. Uh, at the moment it's the denomination is $500. Goes to Austin ISD, goes to Capital Idea, Manor ISD, uh, and of course Austin Community College, you know, which is a nice system to, so that people can go and apply for the scholarships. Uh, so in 2000, what happens with the scholarships is that uh, there is a one year delay. So whatever we collect today will be given out uh, next year. And I hope that you guys are all fairly generous about that. <laughs> uh, the, so uh, we have, you'll, you'll, you'll hear from uh, Steve Jacobs later on uh, from Capital Idea to see what impact it has been. So to date, uh, we have uh, given out about $45,000. The program got started in 2004. And uh, so we are hoping that we can do a lot better next year. Uh, so I want also to kind of introduce you. So that's basically about the charity, you know, the, uh, the, the school supplies with the Jewish community, and uh, we do the vocational training scholarships. Uh, Mubarak Duka. Uh, fortunately for the kids really, rather than the charity, uh, came on board and he said that he is interested in helping with this. So one of the ideas that he has is that why don't we get the South Asian community together? And uh, that's why we are all here. So I'm going to have him kind of, he's very shy in talking about things, so I'm going to have him talk for a few words, give a few words. Well, thank you very much, Arish Bhai, to give me this opportunity to talk to the audience today. Actually, uh, we come up with this idea, Adar, with foundation. We try to build a foundation here for uh, all our communities locally and helping kids locally. And we try to build a, a relationship from all different communities to come together and help uh, this, this charity organization. And that would help us in the future that we can help this community, this organization, as well as other uh, I mean, the organizations as well. 
and I would like thank you for everyone to be here tonight, especially my Spiley community people, my friends, my brother and sister, the general supported this organization. Thank you to all. Thank you, everybody. Uh, I'd like to call upon uh, Ishwar Bhai Tucker, Dr. Tucker. Uh, he's, going to, he's going to talk about, what we're going to do now is that we're going to talk about uh, three organizations. One is Pratham that uh, supports people, in, the kids in education in India. And there's a short video followed by that. And um, after that, uh, we are going to talk about the Aga Khan Foundation, followed by the Citizens Foundation that is in Pakistan. So Aga Khan Foundation tends to be, of course, international because these are in uh, you know, a lot of places. So with that, uh, Dr. Tucker. Thank you again for calling and see the big audience. I appreciate your, you know, your time today. I know it's everybody busy with a lot of activities, a lot of function. So it's nice to see the big audience. Anyway, I'm going to talk about Pratham just for two minutes. The Pratham is an organization that started in uh, 1995 in India, in circulate in slums of Bombay. And it has grown. Uh, to 21 states. And the main purpose of the program is really to educate the children. And uh, uh, all of us who come from India, we know how big the problem is. We know 90% of the kids are enrolled in the school. If you look at the education level and what they learn and how many children really go to the school, it's really not, not good. Almost 50% of the kids who are in uh, fifth grade, they can hardly read at the level of two, standard two. So it's it's very poor uh, outcome so far. So this organization was started uh, 20 years ago. Now it's grown quite a bit. Last year they spent almost $20 million in India. With that they, they gave the education to 7.5 million kids. And also we put vocational training along with the jobs that followed to 15,000 young adults. They also giving, they started a new program a few years ago. It's called Second Chance. So they picked up the kids who had been dropped out of the school. So they brought those kids back and they, they educated them till they got the diploma also. So they have worked a lot of ways to help the, the kids learn many the education. So we also have, you know, <coughs> the Austin Pratham chapter also. That's where I got involved. So hope you know, we keep that in mind also. But at the same time, though, it's, we do more for education for the kids in India. We also had to do it here. We all came with education. And what we are today, what we made, you know, our career here is because of the people here in America, they welcomed us, they give us the opportunity to be what we are today and how successful we are. Not only we, but now our next generation is also, they also grew up working here and making the career here. So we can't forget, you know, the local community where we live uh, to do something about them also. So hope. You know, both the organization is committed to education, one for India, one for here. So hope keep in mind both the organization. Thank you. Thank you. It's a very short video. Uh, so if we just follow it, it's a pretty short video.
as a British Uncle Ali you know, said, we actually have three charities coming up here and speaking to y'all. One was Pratham. The next is a charity where it is really the backbone of the Ismaili community. Um, and I've had the distinct opportunity of getting to know a lot of, of the Ismaili community. And I've got to tell you, they're sweet, smart, sophisticated people. And the backbone of their community is the Aga Khan Foundation. So we have Mr. Mohammed Moen, Moen coming up here. So, come on up, sir. Thank you, everyone. Uh, let me give you the overview about the Alcon Foundation. Alcon Foundation is part of a, a bigger network called the Alcon Development Network. His Highness the Alcon is the founder and the chairman of the Alcon Development Network. Alcon Development Network touches 3.5 million people every year in 16 different countries. All the money that is raised, 100% of the money that is raised from our national events like the Aga Khan Foundation Walk is paid for by His Highness the Aga Khan. Now we all know every charity, every organization needs money to run day-to-day -day operation. Lucky for us, uh, the Aga Khan Foundation, all the day-to-day -day expense is paid by His Highness the Aga Khan as well. We have local events every year in Austin. We have the Alcon Foundation Walk and the Alcon Foundation Golf. Uh, these events are occurring usually towards the end of the year, during November, September, October timeframe. Please visit our website, akfusa.org, to learn more about these events. I'm going to show you a little video that talks more about the organization, so I really appreciate all your time. Thank you. Now. Now, part of the reason of 
having these charities come up is to show you the world, work that they're doing across the world and globally. Now, speaking of global change, this next charity, the Citizens, uh, the Citizens Foundation, is one specific charity that actually effectuates a lot of change, uh, especially in Pakistan. And uh, to tell you a little bit more about it is Mr. Fari Khan. Or Miss Fari Khan. I'm so sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> Thank you so much for the opportunity to speak about the Citizens Foundation. I am a volunteer board member and treasurer for TCF, or the Citizens Foundation USA, which supports TCF Pakistan, an NGO that opens, um, that promotes civil society in Pakistan, basically, by opening schools all across Pakistan in the slums of large urban areas or remote rural areas to provide quality secular education to the underprivileged children in Pakistan while maintaining gender equality. So there's 50% girls and 50% boys. That's the ratio that they endeavor to maintain. Um, and the video will have some statistics which are a little bit outdated. I picked the video for the song. Um, there are 1,200 schools that the Citizens Foundation has opened. Two of those have been funded by the Austin community. One has a lifetime endowment, and some of the supporters I see here, some of the supporters of TCF, who also support other causes locally. So um, you talked about dreams coming true. So it's about dreams of education coming to true and the debt that we feel as immigrants to two lands. So we try to make the dreams of education come true not only for the children of the land that we come from, but also the children of the land that we live in. Thank you. And we have a short video. about any issue in the world to figure out, okay, well, what causes that? People are poor, well, what's causing the poverty? If you keep peeling the onion and going lower and lower, the root cause of pretty much anything is the lack of education.
applause for these three charities. Trust them, Agua Park Foundation. Did you all enjoy your appetizers? Yeah? You know those uh, spring rolls that are on your plates are not only really good, they're really good for you. They were made by none other than our own Shogun P, Miss Shogun Potato. So please give it up. They were handmade. She's been doing it for you know, days, and they did really good. All right, now ready to get the show on the road? Yeah. yeah. Oh, come on. What was that? Okay, because we have some very, very exciting and awesome acts for you. But I'm not going to introduce them. I'm going to bring out our director of entertainment, Miss Shruti Anand. to work with Hindu Charities for America. This is an organization that brings together communities with the sole purpose of giving education to this beautiful world we live in. I would like to thank the very first performance that we have, Texas Russ, for donating their valuable time for this event. They're going to bring us some beautiful Russ dances. And uh, if I may request, can we clear this area? They are very, very energetic and big. They probably will break the stage, so they don't even dance over there. And you're going to feel their energy right in your seats. So, uh, can you please get this moving, whoever? Yes. yes, just a little bit at the back. Thank you. Please put your hands together for Texas Russ.
thank you, Texas Ross. Thank you so much for taking the time out from your student lives. These guys are all students at UT Austin, so please give them a big round of applause for their beautiful and ridiculous comments. Being the director of entertainments for Hindu Charities for America, I get to do what I love best, which is dancing and putting together shows like this with such a beautiful purpose. So the next, uh, I would like to introduce uh, Mayur Dance Team from Monsoon Dance, who believes in dancing for a cause. And I'm especially excited about this one because I get to be a part of it. They're going to bring to you some Bollywood, some belly dancing, and some old school Pandora. So put your hands together for the Mayur Dance Team.
one big thing about giving is that you do it without any expectation. And, and that is really fundamental to the human values. So we had created a selfless service award for the people that uh, we felt have uh, really gone or gone out of their way to help uh, raise funds you know, so that we can donate school supplies, we can donate uh, scholarships. So we have like three people that we like to recognize today. One is Dinesh Makaria. Dinesh Bhai has been leading the scholarship program. So we met at a Gujarat Samaj uh, boat ride and I said, look, I'm, we are doing this uh, little thing, you know, in the charities and if you'd like to help with it. And he said, sure. And of course, he spends half of his time on this. The second person I'd like to recognize is uh, uh, Ruchi Gagrani. So we met Ruchi, actually I didn't know her at all, you know, and uh, we had a you know, wine and cheese affair one time. And uh, so she comes up there and, you know, and we sort of somehow clicked and we said, okay, if you can help us do the events. So, and uh, not only that, uh, she also, of course, you know, makes her husband work for the charity as well, which is awesome. <laughs> so, Ruchi, thank you so much. The other person I like to recognize, you know, and that I like to do on behalf of the South Asian community here in Austin, is Sima Bowen. Sima. Uh, Sima has, I, I met Sima several years ago, and uh, we were sort of doing a little project. And I was really amazed at her uh, selflessness. Uh, uh, you know, she donated money to the, to, to the charity, and, uh, you know, there was not supposed to be there. You know, we, we, did, we did an event where, you know, people sort of gave some money, and she didn't take a penny of it and just gave it to us. And since then, you know, she has been covering our events, uh, and of not only ours, obviously, you know, within Austin, you know, so many events that she has covered. And uh, uh, it's just an amazing person to work with. Sima, thank you so much. By the way, she is part of the media, so, you know, be careful. <laughs> All right, now, I'm going to ask Richie, Gagrani, Mubarak, and Mimo, all three of them to come on stage. We're going to go ahead and present our plaques to the sponsors. These are people who, unlike me, decided to go ahead and give an enormous amount of money. However much that is, you know, it, we're not going to say because everybody's equal in our eyes. All right, um, when I go ahead and announce your names, whoever he, uh, you know, is here on behalf of that organization, please come up. Ashna Mod, realtor. <laughs> Benares Indian Boutique. Anybody here on behalf of Benares? No. Okay, well, I will accept it on behalf of Benares and Indian Boutique. Thank you. <laughs> Focused on you, chiropractic. I know they were there. Hey, there you go. Hondo Kane. Anybody else? KP Grocers. Mehul Dave Photography. Come on up here. You can take a selfie on this one. Alright, and our triple platinum sponsor, Modern Woodman Fraternal Financial. So, accepting the award on behalf of them is Mr. Janik Zawadia. SOS Mechanical. SAIVA, Cyber. Seva.
Sky Pass Travel. Star Insurance Agency. They asked me to slow it down, so. Oh, I'm just kidding. All right. See? Okay. Yeah. Could uh, person for Taj Palace come up, please? All right, and last but not least, Trinity Texas Realty. Ms. Karen Kimbos. Please give it up to these sponsors, ladies and gentlemen. These are your businesses that helped us with, well, helping others. They helped us help you, and you helped us help others. So, thank you very much. All right? Uh, yeah. All right, thank you. <laughs> Okay, now, I'm going to go ahead and introduce a person who is already up here, Mr. Dinesh Vakaria. He is the Director of Scholarships, and vocational scholarships being one of our biggest or most important parts, this guy is well used, and he's also free. Good evening, everybody. How did you enjoy the show? And Cash doesn't know this, but his free advertisement that he did is going to sponsor at least two scholarships. <laughs> Nothing is free in this world. I'm very happy to say that I have a job that I love the most that is spending you all's money for somebody's help. <laughs> so nothing comes out of my pocket, comes out of your pocket and goes somewhere else. The scholarship program for Hindu Charities started in 2013 and the recipients are ACC, Maine RISD and Capital Area. We are really working with other our ISDs, Austin ISD, Leander ISD, and Del Valley ISD, and we're going to start working. Uh, we have started working with them, and starting next year, we will also provide some scholarship to those areas. Yeah, as far as the way we collect money is through events like this and people who love to give for foreign, uh, for. Indian organizations and now the South Asian organizations, but they give money here. The motto, our motto is give where you live. We heard about other organizations giving a lot of money and helping in India or in Pakistan, um, but that is good. That's nothing wrong with it, but I think we all prosper in Central Texas and we need to give, we must give money in Central Texas to the children who need help. So how do we collect money? As I said, we collect money through the donations and functions like this. Our overhead is 9.00% pretty much. Everything that is, don uh, that is spent is donated Volunteers are donated, even the lawyers are free, as you saw. <laughs> Dancers are free, they give their time, and a lot of us spend a lot of hours, but because there is a fire in us that says, no, we need to help the organization, and we need to help the students. So far, we have given about $45,000 worth of scholarships, uh, and that's about, I would say, 50 plus scholarships. We give $500 scholarships for vocational 
and $1,000 scholarships to Capital Idea per person. Uh, we chose to give scholarship for vocational education mainly because we want to have the recipient go to school and get ready for the real life in 18 months to two years and not spend four years of college and then five, spend three years finding a job. Uh, the, the way this works is the schools select the students who they give money. We give money to the school and as soon as the student registers at I, A, ACC or any other vocational school, the school directly gives money to the college that the student uh, has enrolled. So the money never goes into student hand and we never have to worry about did the money go in the right hand or not. Also, the student right, uh, the scholarships are given in the name that you choose. You either in your business name, your parents' name, your grandmother's, grandfather's, whatever you decide. That's in that name the scholarship is given and the donor gets a thank you note from the student directly to you. So this is a worthwhile cause to give and the students are also, you will hear the experiences of the student who has received and what they have achieved by doing this, by getting scholarship. I'll give you my personal example. I was talking at a Spanish radio station, a Spanish TV station, and the gentleman right after my talk was a VF fellow, and he came to me and he said, oh, are you that Hindu organization who gave me the money? And out of blue, he received our scholarship and was able to buy books and finish his paralegal degree. So this was, I mean, this is what people are using these scholarships and enhancing their life and their livelihood. So I would urge every one of you to open up your heart and your pockets to do the best you can. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, our keynote speaker is, he's already grounding at me. Our keynote speaker is a very passionate gentleman. I had the uh, pleasure of meeting him a year, two years ago. Um, they are a very good organization called Capital Idea. It's one of our uh, organizations that we actually give to. We raise money for vocational scholarships in Mainer ISD, ACC, and one of the other ones is Capital Idea. We actually uh, gave a uh, check at City Hall to the mayor's office one uh, last year or the year before? Last year. Last year uh, for $20,000. And this year we actually gave it in their, uh, in their building you know, um, for, I don't remember exactly how much, but it was it's a big check. Okay, well, it was five, but, you know, it's, it's still a big check. It is, you know, 5,000 goes a long way. Now, to, to talk about how, uh, and, and, and you heard about the origins of Hindu uh, HC4A from Mr. Katecha. You heard about the scholarship and, and what we do. Now you're going to hear about the impact. So, Mr. Steve Jacobs, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you very much, uh, Cash. Uh, again, I'm Steve Jacobs, I'm Executive Director of Capital Idea. And we very, very much thank you for your support, your scholarship, for your generosity, for your giving back. Uh, we, you know, we're, all, we're all immigrants, we all came from someplace. And for you to come here and make a better life for yourselves and then give to make a better life for others is truly, truly awe-inspiring. Uh, what Capital Idea does is supports the non-traditional student. These are older uh, students who may not have had a first chance, or if they had a first chance, it didn't go well. Our average age is 30. Life gets kind of complicated by then. Many have children. Most have children. And what your support helps do is take away everything except getting A's in their classes and putting, putting food on the table. 
because we pay the, the, the tuition, the fees, and the books, but also things like lab uniforms, stethoscopes, the tools of the trade that people have to have to enter a good paying job like nursing. So with me tonight are two of our Capital Idea participants. I'm going to introduce to you first uh, Ryan Dow, who is your current uh, uh, scholarship recipient. But I'm going to ask that you, we not expect too much of him tonight because he has finals still next week. Uh, and then after him, one of our graduates who has a little more leisure time now that she has graduated and successful in her field. And I'll let both of them share a little bit about what your funding helps create. Mr. Dow? Hello. Hi, my name is Ryan Dell. Um, thank you, uh, Hindu Charities for America and Capital Idea for, um, for this uh, generous award. Uh, without you guys, uh, I wouldn't be able to um, actually go to school. Um, I'm currently a um, nursing student at Austin Community College, and I'll be, uh, you know, with the help of the scholarship, I'll be completing my nursing degree uh, exactly one year from now. Uh, I'm very uh, appreciative, I'm very grateful, I'm excited to be here, and, um, and thank you for believing in me. Thanks. Hi, my name is Corina Malone, and as, thank you Steve for that introduction, and congratulations Ryan. What a beautiful crowd tonight. So as Steve stated, a lot of what Capital Idea does is I am actually a tangible evidence of that. I learned about Capital Idea as I was attending ACC. I had two children at the time, and I was like, you know, going to school and taking care of my family is kind of tough. What's out there? Is there anything out there? Is there any resources that could help me? And I learned about Capital Idea during that process. And through Capital Idea and through the support of Capital Idea, I didn't have to take out any more loans. I was able to really focus on being a mother and a student. And as Steve said, it really helped me to be able to focus on my grades and keep my GPA up. I graduated in 2004 and transferred over to Texas State in 2005, where I graduated from there with an accounting degree. So fast forward, um, Capital Idea was created through Austin Interfaith. And Austin Interfaith is a coalition of over 35 um, different um, member paying institutions such as churches, nonprofits, um, schools, things of that nature. So I've been very, very involved with Austin Interfaith. I'm a huge advocate for um, affordable housing here in Austin. And currently I'm on three boards and a task force through, um, through the city. And it's through this process and learning about Capital Idea and Austin Interfaith that has guided me and molded me into becoming a better leader. So a lot of you may have heard the acronym, you know, in accounting, we're really big on acronyms. <laughs> the acronym NIMBY, not in my backyard. So that's what a lot of what Austin Interfaith does. They try to turn NIMBY into YIMBY. Yes, in my backyard. Yes, get involved. Yes, care about what's going on. And I loved the, the, um, the comment earlier about gender equality and having the burden of education in two different countries. And, and that is absolutely so true, even from my, from my perspective of being part Asian. But anyways, I, I'm going on a tangent. But thank you so much for your, for your continued support. I, I very much appreciate it. So we thank you. And we look to Cash coming back up. Oh, oh. yeah, no. <laughs> but also to joining you again next year after Ryan's graduation, uh, because as you've seen from Karina, our goal is not simply for people to get their education, nor is our goal simply for people to get a profession. It's also for people to themselves give back through leadership in their communities, through the kind of work that you're doing right now, through the kind of work that your organizations are doing. So thank you so very much for working with all of us to help make this a better, stronger community and more opportunity for more people. Thank you. Capital Idea, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if you could all please turn your attention to the video. 
Welcome to the other gallery. Night filled, a fun filled evening with music, dances, dinner, and raffles. This is a South Asian service event that will raise funds to provide scholarships to economically disadvantaged children in the Austin area. The charitable organization, AC4A, was conceived for the purpose of providing local education and support. According to the National Coalition for the Homeless, 1.2 million children are homeless on any given night in the U.S. Our goal is to aid the overall education of homeless children in America. The need for financial assistance towards education is real and continues to grow. Comedia Impact says there's 2642 homeless students in Austin area alone. Additionally, please listen to what they have to say. Hindu Charities also offers a scholarship for our seniors. Thank you so much, Hindu Charities, for the generous donation of school supplies that you gave to our students. Here at the Gus Garcia Young Men's Leadership Academy, our young men will use those supplies during their math, reading, science, and social studies classrooms. Again, I want to say thank you to Hindu Charities for the generous donation. The school district is very proud to be the recipient of donations from the Hindu Charities for America. In the past three years, we have received school supplies for disadvantaged students in our district. We also have received basic needs for disadvantaged students. We thank you, Hindu Charities for America. Barbara James, Director of the Texas Homeless Education Office. We've been working with Hindu Charities since its inception. We're very excited about working with them because they've been able to help so many kids in several central Texas school districts. They bring these children needed school supplies so that these children are able to succeed in school. By helping with school supplies, it helps in another way by freeing up money that district groups have to spend on these supplies. So it's a double win for everyone, a win for the kids, a win for the school districts, and actually it's a win for society. We're very grateful to Hindu Charities, and we encourage more support of this fantastic organization. So you just saw some impact of uh, some people and how this wonderful organization helps make their lives much better. You know, education is the key, and charity is injurious unless it can teach you to get away from it. So what we do here, by providing education, is helping them not only for their lifetime, but bettering generations to come. Now, I just want to first, uh, also, I, I totally forgot earlier, my apologies, but I want to, how, how does the decor look tonight? Right? Well, this is all made possible by the uh, really hard work of one young man from Doom Decorations. Where's Michelle Dave? Where's Michelle? Okay, well, I would ask him to stand up and take a bow, but hey, this is his brother. He can stand up and take a bow on his behalf. All right, I'm going to turn the mic over to Mr. Janik Zolwadi. Hello, everybody. I'm Janak Zalavadia with uh, Modern Woodman. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, we're here for the most important part of the evening today, the fundraising. So, we'll, what I do want to say is uh, the scholarship that the money that we'll raise today for the scholarship, every single penny goes to the people in need. So, every single penny goes to them. So, I'm going to turn it over to Kosh now to. Now, this is just stay on the stage. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you are a very good looking audience, I'll tell you. Everybody, just go ahead and put your hand up. Come on. Everybody. I want to see your hand in the air. Let's go. There you go. Put your hand up if you are lucky. Just if keep you, it raised. Keep it raised. If you consider yourself lucky, put your hand up. If you don't think you are, if you don't think you're blessed, put your hand down. <laughs> Good, I'm glad people still have a hand down. <laughs> now, if you don't think that you should pay some of this generosity that you've had in your life, pay it forward 
Put down your hand. If you're not willing to write a check that is going to actually help real lives, put down your hand. And yes, your neighbors will see you and laugh at you. <laughs> if you're not willing to give at least $500, because $500 is one scholarship, put down your hand. I, I saw that speech. <laughs> John, you have your hand up? Yes, I do. How much are you giving? How much are you giving? I mean, you have your hand up. Come on. You didn't put it down when I said, who, you know, who, who can give more than 500? Did my part. Okay. So how much did you give? Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. But actually, wait. How much did your company give? 3,000. Ladies and gentlemen, John Excel Wadia, $3,000. The modern wood working. Now, I want you to take that same hand that you had raised, pick up that donation card on in front of you. There should be at least five for days to go out there and make money, money right away. I place up there myself. They don't have to, like Dinesh and, and, and you know, now, and I want you to write down. they don't have to go to school for four years and then three years and then, like me. Whatever you think you, you know, can spare. You have a quarter million worth of the student loan. No little, no amount is too little. Well, actually, it is. If it's under $500, it's too little, just, you know. But no amount is too little, but at the same time, we would like for everybody to come up with as much as they can. This is the most important part of the evening. This is why we're here. You guys saw some awesome performances. You guys had some awesome food, and you will have some really good food a little bit later. But until then, we're going to keep you starving. So I want you guys... Where's, where's the nation? Is okay. So I want you guys to go ahead and envision how much you pay for a night out on the town. What? I don't know, how much do you pay, John? Eh, Fifty dollars. Fifty bucks. All right. You, you're very cheap, huh? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Typical Indian, ladies and gentlemen. Just kidding. Uh, hey, I can say that. <laughs> no. Um. But if, okay, if how much would you? Spend on two tickets to a concert. Two hundred. Two hundred. Okay. If you had to pay a concert and and dinner, and you you had a really hot date, how much would you spend? I'm married. <laughs> Your wife is hot. Come on, you gotta say it, my wife. Okay. Two fifty. All right. If you weren't married, how much would you spend? Two forty nine. <laughs> All right. I would spend 500. The answer was 500. Okay, 500. First, just for you. Yeah. So, $500 actually helps one scholarship, one student, for the whole year. So, you know, you might think yours is a little, uh, or not that, not that much, but, the, yeah. So, Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Dinesh Vakaria, our Director of Scholarships, just told me that we have a generous donor that's going to actually match $5,000 in scholarship money. So, where are my runners at? They're in the back? Hey, Richie, where are the runners? All right, could, could you all raise your hand? Okay, so the people that have their hands raised, those are the guys who we've authorized to use PayPal for legal, legal you know, purposes. Do not give your credit card to anybody else. I mean, I can take it if you want. You know, but they're gonna walk around. Uh, please write down how much you're gonna donate on the donation card. And if you wanna give it by a uh, credit card, there it is. That one night of going out. To charities. And don't be cheap like Jonas, be like me. You pay $500 for going out, well, you know what, you can afford to pay $500 here, right? You got, what do you got? I mean, you, you got, you you got, got show, you got to uh, see the answers, answers. So, you got a comedian in front of you. Can the runners come up front? No. Yeah, actually. And, you're going to get an awesome dinner, so. 
Raise your hand and someone will come take it. Yeah, and uh, you guys can pay by check, cash, or credit card. Please fill out the donation card. There is also a, a place where if your company does a corporate matching, please indicate that as well, because we'd love to hit your company up for money too. Um, now, there is also a blank in there where you can actually give money for a scholarship in your name, or whose ever name that you want. You know, as Mahatma Gandhi said, you must be the change you wish to see in the world. The future depends on what you do today. So today, ladies and gentlemen, if you consider that one night of going out, and don't be cheap like Jonah, be like me, you know? You pay $500, for going out, well, you know what? You can afford to pay five hundred dollars here, right? You got what? Did you, I mean, you didn't miss anything. You got a show. You got to see dancers. You got a comedian in front of you. No, not really. And you're gonna get an awesome dinner. So, all right. I'm sure. Apparently, only those who give scholarships uh, will get a dinner. So, <laughs> I think he's trying to say I ate too much already. But I'll make sure you guys get your dinner done. All right. Well, the fundraising is going to go on for the rest of the night. But right now, I want to ask the whole Adar Gala team to come up here, and that is Mubarak, Ruchi, Ashraf, Shruti, Dinesh Uncle, Janak, Bimalbai. Everybody come on to the stage for your recognition. These guys have worked long and hard for the last weeks, months, got together over the weekends. I know Shobhanti was actually forced feeding food on us, but it was a lot of fun. And they worked hard. I know because I was also there. Yeah. How much did you get? 500! Look at that! Come on! Alright. So this 
is the other gala team, ladies and gentlemen. Jenna, come on. This is the other gala team, ladies and gentlemen. A team of individuals that made it all happen. Okay, now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and ask our special guest of the evening, Shobhananti, to pick the lucky raffle winner. Go ahead. All right, you know what? Here. I'll shuffle it like this. Like playing cards. Okay. All right, so. All right, um, so the first winner is Laura Amjad. And she picked Modern Woodman. So, all right, Richie, you next. Close your eyes. Close my eyes? Yep. All right, Mohammed Moment. Oh. Oh. For a with the Citizens Foundation. And he picked Star Entrance. That's what he said. He picked. What is that? Oh, okay. I guess you don't pick anything. All right. Um, Dinesh Uncle? Najam Chinwala. And they picked. Oh, this is this is where they signed in, huh? Okay, all right. So they didn't pick anything. But this person signed in everybody. That's good. All right, I sure. Hey, come on, close your eyes. Not the top one. Okay, and the last one is Rushmika Patel. Come on up. No. Okay, all right, so Mubarak Bay, go ahead. Okay. Ryan Dow. Hey. Look at that. Our recipient is also a winner. Come on up. He wins a $120 gift certificate for Focused on You Chiropractic. <laughs> Rasmika wins the SOS Mechanical. All right. That was your uh, raffle tickets, ladies and gentlemen. All right, everybody take a bow. Okay, so it's my pleasure to announce that the dinner buffet is open. So enjoy.
Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for my Shali. I'm very happy to be here today. I'm really thankful to Arish ji, um, Shruti and Ruchi for inviting me. I have selected a few songs. Um, I know they have requested some past songs. So I'll start out with one of my favorites and then move on to some fast songs and I think they have planned some DJ dancing after that. So here is the first one. That's one of my favorites because that's where I learned from Madan Mohanji and Lataji. It's from the movie Neer Zara.
And I'll give you free legal advice. All right, no, that's not true. I can't, not for, not, not for free. But anyway, we're going to go ahead. I, I just wanted to give our local board some break and also give you that announcement. Please keep the donations coming, ladies and gentlemen. We're almost there. And thank you for being a big part of this night. Now some more music from the great Vaishali.
I'm 